Yeah, the cats are the cats are uh, popular. I would say. <laughs> All right. Once upon a time to start the game. After a mulligan for Lee, we're on. We're underway. So a preview of what's to come. If you've seen initiative play against other Stompy decks, uh, I I describe it kind of like a these matchups kind of like a hockey fight where we're just like gonna grab each other's shirts and punch each other in the face until one of us falls down. Um, that's basically what these matchups are like. All right, Lotus Petal after sibling Soothsayer found with Once Upon a Time. If we like start talking and stuff and then we yeah, forget yeah, yeah. and then yeah. It's a hot seat. Yeah. All right, so it's ready for you to... Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right, naming human, Ethersworn Canonist. Non-artifact. Nick said, I've babysat those cats. Great kiddos. Okay. Okay, great reviews coming in for the cats. Chromox and printing Archon of Emeria. And an Archon of Emeria. Here you are, and I'll keep these revealed. I need the last two lights. You don't need to keep them revealed, I'll just write them down. You're all good for each. Shadow Skull. Uh, That's a Shatter Skull entering tapped. Pass the turn. Uh, I always uh, try to keep the same uh, pattern so I can do it in bigger tournaments. Total double face land from Zendikar Rising. Cavern, naming human. Uh, I'm going to take this fire. Uh, 16. Okay. Uh, and then Seasoned Dungeoneer comes in. Lee will take the initiative. Search for a basic. Um, I'm going to mount in my hand. <laughs> Secret entrance is found. Are the Sworn Cannonists not a great attacker right now. Also not a great defender. Alright. Oh! <laughs> you can bobble. <follow. laughs> <laughs> no idea what happened. Uh, I think we're going to score. Six of the guys. Alright. All right, there's the Soothsayer and finds the dinosaurs in a spaceship right on top of the library. So I think I think we're seeing where this is going. The uh, the hockey fight <laughs> um, description for this matchup is seems pretty accurate. Forge puts two plus one plus one counters on seasoned engineer. Which will be a problematic attacker as this game progresses. Gains protection from all creatures and explores when it attacks. Or when any uh, party creature attacks. Can give that. So the Season Engineer might grow. Yep. Uh, good combat. Yeah. Sure. All right, we're going to explore Simeon Spirit Guide on top. We'll get plus one plus one. Simeon Spirit Guide thrown into the trash. Five damage comes in. Next room for Lee will be the trap, which is you lose five life. So I'm in trouble. In trouble. Two cards in hand for Lee. An advantage, especially in game one for the initiative deck, is the, the possibility of solitude. I don't run solitude in my deck. Yeah. 
Soothsayer, maybe a turn too slow. Did I miss a land drop in this game? Mm. No, I don't think so. Oh, but my Shatter Skull had to enter tapped. Did that? Yeah, I don't know. Was that a middle finger Seinfeld point? Did that happen? All right, I'm scooping it up. Game one goes to Lee. Seasoned engineer, folks. Seasoned engineer. Card's too good. These matchups, the, the Who Stompy versus Initiative, feel somewhat like a mirror. They're, they, I mean, there are not that many cards in common in the decks. Well, I guess they're, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's somewhat similar to a mirror, but um, feels pretty evenly matched, I would say. All right, turn one, Soothsayer, Dinosaurs on a Spaceship, right on top of the library. Also imprinted on a Chrome Ox, and we're up and running. You take the initiative now. I'll, I'll pass. <laughs> All right, uh, Chris, uh, Chris, what am I saying? I, Chris, I was about to talk about myself in a third person. I was saying to Lee, I dare you to take the initiative now after my turn one suspended dinosaurs. Do it, I dare you. I think I'm going to go with the end trap. Looks like Lee's holding a copy of Source to Plowshares, maybe Lauren of the Third Path. Thinking about what to imprint on Chromox, it'll be Anointed Peacekeeper, Cavern on Human, Simeon Spirit Guide. Here's Lauren, and it will blow up my Chromox. So upkeep, I get a 2-2 red-white flyer. Lauren of the Third Path has Vigilance, so we'll attack. No initiative for either of us yet in this game. Seek the beast on end step. Finds a lotus petal and an ancient tomb. Attack you for seven. Lee goes down to eight. Lotus Petal, Ancient Tomb, still thinking about it. <laughs> Gonna cast the Questing Druid from Exile. Pass the turn. Lauren of the Third Path activated. Both of us draw on my end step. And I will take game two. So we're seeing some of the uh, firepower from both of these decks in games one and two. Game three, Lee will be on the play. And you can always get the card back. All right, one card on the bottom for Lee. I'm all to six. Lee is on the play. Hard advantage against you. So it's okay. Yeah, I can see that. That makes sense. Looks like I am also taking a mulligan. All right, a mold of six for both. Ancient Tomb, Lotus Petal, Peacekeeper. Uh, it's as it enters. Okay, so while he's still in stack before he, before he enters, I'm just going to cast once upon a time. Sure. Okay, I'm to Peacekeeper still in the stack. I'm going to cast my Once Upon a Time. Okay. 
thinking about what to take with this once upon a time as a peacekeeper is still on the stack. And the peacekeeper can be quite disruptive. Okay, NT is found with once upon a time. That ability Lee is taking a look at a card that I've been testing recently. Over encumbered is in my hand. I'll show you it's six. And you can like reveal a card on the top of your library and play it to the turn. Not really sure I should come in in this matchup. I am uh Still figuring it out. So Chromox is selected by Anointed Peacekeeper. Oh, two more, right? There's two more, yeah. I'm the one playing Burn. <laughs> yep. That's a goal. What happened? So Chromox will be cast for two mana. Sweet. Imprinting dinosaurs on a spaceship. Peacekeeper attacks for three, pass the turn. Trying to figure out right now what my next play is going to be. I have Inti, Seneschal of the Sun in my hand, over encumbered, questing Druid, and a Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time, kind of dead. My land is Ancient Tomb, which is going to be painful. Playing another Ancient Tomb, also painful. Inti hopefully will allow me to discard this Once Upon a Time, but it gets Caracas immediately. Attack for three with Peacekeeper, pretty good. So taking a bet on Inti there, rather than playing something else, didn't really work out. So Caracas immediately uh, bounced it back to hand. Every activation of these ancient tombs, it's two lost life I could really use right now. There's Lotus Petal. Is Over Encumbered worth it here? Probably not. A Junk will get Lee a card. He could crack a clue and a food in the same turn and attack. Not very good at the moment. Nice. Potentially Questing Druid. Then cast Inti, put a counter on Questing Druid, but Inti gets bounced by Caracas again. Three. Could hold up Seek the Beast. Does that win me the game? Not clear. But Over Encumber doesn't seem very good in this exact situation. If Lee had started the game with Chromox and... Um, Cavern and Exile Simian Spirit Guide, let's say. And play some, some creature. Over Encumbered maybe will be a little bit better. I won't waste sign the barbarian. Yeah. I'm taking a moment here to figure this out. This feels like a critical turn. NT, Questing Druid, Once Upon a Time, Over Encumbered. Over Encumbered feels shut off here. Should I have played it last turn over Inti? Probably not. All right, gonna go for Once Upon a Time. Floating a mana. The hope is right now that I can find a... Uh, A soothsayer or uh, gatekeeper or something. Yeah, 
I also have Source to Plowshares, but can't find that once upon a time. Okay, finding a Cavern of Souls, finding it, playing it. it name's human. Questing Druid is a human, I will play it. Is it worth it to, to, to play over encumbered or into here? I have decided the answer is no. Ancient Tomb would put me down to six. So Anointed Peacekeeper has been a beating so far. Playing Ancient Tomb. Seasoned Dungeoneer. Pretty good. Lee will take the initiative. Take the Siri, please. Good. Just creature, sorcery, this is an instant. You have it. Yeah. Creature, instant, okay. sorcery, land. Cool. Anything else? Uh, yeah. 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 Okay, basic mountain found at the secret entrance. I will attack you for three. No blocks. Okay, I'll hit it down Put me down to five. I am almost out of time, it seems. Yeah, you're not going to let me get to combat with Inti, so I'm not going to draw any more cards yet. Yeah, Inti, uh, Inti got completely wrecked by Caracas. GG's, Lee gets it. GG's. And a Doctor Who card was in Lee's deck as well, but we won't reveal. Good games.